Laura Bell Bundy has played some fierce females on stage from Glinda and Wicked to her Tony nominated turn as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. Now she's celebrating the women of tomorrow with a new album and podcast. Hi, Laura. Good to see you. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing great because I know that you had COVID back in March, which was when it all kind of hit the fan. So that must have been terrifying. Yeah. The, well, at the time when I had it or began having symptoms, uh, there wasn't as much information out there about what the symptoms were. Yeah. And so I actually had to like look and see, okay, what were the symptoms in China? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, I got it like right at the beginning of quarantine. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you're feeling better now. <laughs> me, I yes, me too. I'm, I'm very uh, uh, fortunate that I came out of it. Well, you have so much going on. We have a lot to get to. So let's start with the Women of Tomorrow podcast. Yes. How did the whole thing start? So um, Women of Tomorrow, the podcast is sort of an extension of Women Tomorrow, the album that I've been working on. And yeah. the album is, uh, it's, it's sort of, it sounds like a classic MGM movie musical with pop elements and some hip hop beats, but every song uh, deals with a different issue that women are facing today. Our most recent song, which is a cover of Girls Just Want to Have Fun, it's the only uh, cover we do on the album. Yeah. But the the video, it's a slowed down ballad version, and the video depicts uh, one woman's experience through an abusive relationship. Yeah, it's so, haunting. It's really kind of haunting, your version. Uh, yeah, it's, it is pretty haunting, yeah. yeah. Um, and there's this, it's a spin. You know, when I heard... Cindy Lauper's version and and there's a line in there that you really miss because it's got this sort of like punchy jaunty fun production you miss this line that is um some boys take a beautiful girl and hide her away for the rest of the world I want to be the one who stands in the sun girls just want to have fun and it was like when I heard that never, I'm, yeah and that I never even realized that was the the lyric no you don't wow. even hear it we're, we're touching on these issues in a really poetic way, a way that you can kind of swallow the information and, and also be entertained. The podcast is an opportunity to take a deep dive yeah. into that issue, talk about the history of that issue, um, and have a special guest who's an expert on that issue. You know, I have to say though, the music itself, you know, like Get It Girl You Go, it, I mean, it's, it kind of has like this throwback vibe, yeah. but it feels like a modern anthem. Right. Well, I hope so. So yeah. that was the thing with the double standards. Originally, I had called the album double standard. So I yeah. was taking the the um, the feeling of standard. Right. Yeah. So you hear Get It Girl, You Go and you're like, I totally hear the Andrews sisters here. Yeah. Um, but putting modern beats behind it and modern production so that if you heard it on the radio, it kind of still fits in. Yeah. Except for it's got that, you know, there's been a lot, you know, swing songs that have come out that have kind of been punchy yeah. um, over the years. And so that's what it feels like. You're so busy, but you also found time to do a YouTube channel uh, show called Women-demic, which I think <laughs> we can all relate to. Oh so I've God. been... Um, because by the way, all the women are left out of the books, unless you're Cleopatra and we're sexualizing you and you're super sexy with your lead eyeliner. That's probably yeah. folded your eyes. So I was like, there's all these amazing women that did all these things that nobody knows about. Um, let's do a show and let's make it funny. And, and so it doesn't feel like you're eating your vegetables. I was talking with my producer as we were getting ready for this and we're big theater people. Um, but we were looking at some of the Broadway roles that you've done. I mean, think about Elle Woods, Glinda, Amber and Hairspray. And we were saying they're all pretty strong female characters, right? Uh, did you have a favorite? Elle for sure is yeah. uh, such a great role model for women. And I think that the story of her is actually almost more relevant now than when I did the show. Did you know that um, there was a push on Twitter to like, for Legally Blonde to now stream, be put on a streamer so we can watch it because Broadway shut down and it was from when MTV filmed it, right? Yeah, well, I mean, for a long time and maybe still it's on YouTube illegally, yeah. um, <laughs> but um, I, I, I do think one of the producers of our show is working to get the rights to make that available for streaming. Oh, it great. Was, it was the first time ever that a musical that was running on Broadway was also on television. Yeah. 
We just want to let everybody know that your album is going to be out next spring and you can catch the women of tomorrow podcast on the Broadway podcast network right now. So yes. get the podcast in, get the album next spring and we'll, we'll be good to go. Laura, yes. And you so can much. get the singles that have been released now on Spotify and iTunes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so much. Be well, be safe. Okay. Thanks. You too.